Hi, this is Alfauzi Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is Union Intersection and Complement of Events in Probability Part 2. In our previous video, we were discussing Union of Events. In this video, let us discuss Intersection of Events. In probability, an event is always associated with a random experiment. When something happens, we say an event has taken place. For example, uh, in an experiment of flipping a coin, there are two possibilities. Either we could get a tail or a head. Am I right? So this is called an event. There are different operations that can be performed on events such as union of events, complement of events and intersection of events. In today's video, we are going to particularly concentrate on the intersection of events. The intersection of two or more events gives a new compound event. Intersection of events means that all the events are occurring together. Even if one event holds false, all will be false. The intersection of events can only be true if and only if the event holds true. Okay, let us first see the formula for intersection of events. Consider A and B are two events of random experiment. The intersection of A and B is represented by A intersection B or you can simply say that A and B and an intersection are same. This is the symbol we use for intersection. The probability of the intersection of the events A and B is given by P of A and B equal to P of A times P of B. It means probability of event A times probability of event B. Here P of A is nothing but the probability of occurrence of the event A and P of B is the probability of occurrence of the event B. When A and B are two independent events that is the occurrence of one is not affecting the other then in such cases this intersection would be equal to zero. Please note that when the events A and B are independent. Independent means the occurrence of the one event will not affect the result of the other event or the occurrence of the other event. Okay, This is because in case of independent events of the two events having nothing in common at all. Am I right? Intersection means common. So if they are disjoint, there will be nothing common for both the events. And hence, A intersection B is null. If we have more as compared to two independent events, for example, A, B, C, then uh, when this occurs, the probability of intersection coming from all the three events is due to. Does this make sense to you? So this is all about the formula for intersection of events in probability. Okay, what do we do when the events A and B are not at all independent. So if such cases occurs, the concept of conditional probability will arrive there. We can discuss conditional probability in a separate video. When we have two events A and B where the occurrence of A affects the occurrence of the event B. In such cases, the probability of intersection of the two events would be where this one probability of B over A is the probability of an event B gives that event A has already taken place. So that is the meaning of this one. Hope you are clear with the formulas. Here is the example. Please read it. A single die is rolled. Suppose the die is fair. Find the probability that the number rolled is both even and greater than 2. Okay. This question is asking about the intersection of two events. Let E be the event of getting an even number and T be the event of getting a number greater than 2. So whenever you get questions like this, first you have to define the events. You have to define what are all the events given in the question and you have to identify what the question is asking you, whether union, intersection or complement. After identifying, write the appropriate formula and then you have to work out according to the formula. First, I am going to list out the sample spaces. When you are rolling the die, what are all the outcomes you will get? You will just get 6 faces, any one among the 6 faces. So, the sample space would be 
and this question is asking us to find the intersection of the two events e even number and t greater than 2 so from this list you can easily identify the even numbers 2 4 and 6 and among these three outcomes what are all the numbers that are greater than 2 yes 4 and 6 so from this uh, sample space you can identify the two events so e intersection t is 4 comma 6 am i right okay now let's find the probability of this e intersection t since the die is fair all the outcomes are equally likely please notice that this is this word means the outcomes are equally likely so by counting we will have two outcomes out of the total six outcomes so the probability would be 2 over 6 does this make sense to you okay i'll add two more parts for the same example here is the other part please read this part Suppose that the die has been loaded. So probability of 1. Getting 1 is 1 out of 12. And probability of 6 is 3 out of 12. Okay. And the remaining 4 outcomes are equally likely with one another. Now find the probability that the number rolled is both even and greater than 2. They have given the same condition. Same question but with a different condition. First let us take down the information from the question. The information on the probabilities of the six outcomes that we have so far is Let me list out all the outcomes, possible outcomes and the probability Its corresponding probability from the given information Obviously these are the outcomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Now let me list out the probability For 1 and 6 it is given that 1 over 12 and 3 over 12 And for the rest we don't know So I am just going to mention it as P Hope you are familiar with a very popular axiom Probability axiom the probability the entire probability will add up to give one in case if you have any query regarding the axioms and the properties you can refer our previous videos okay this one probability of one is one over twelve and probability so let me add all the probabilities all these add up to give one i'm going to plug in these values given I'm just plugging the value given now I'm just going to add these and make um, to, I'm going to do the fractional addition I'll get 4 over 12 that is 1 over 3 I'm going to do the algebraic calculations just like solving I'm going to shift all these to the right side subtract 1 over 3 from both these sides and all these are probabilities P do the fractional subtraction on the right side which will give us 2 over 3 and on the left side you will be getting 4 over p I mean 4p dividing both these sides by 4 we will get and I'm simplifying it so p would be 1 over 6 in particular p over 4 is 1 over 6 because in this part we are supposed to find the probability of the intersection of two events e and t under these conditions event of getting even numbers greater than 2 so 4 and 6 so this would give you 1 over 6 and probability of 6 is given in the question itself 3 over 12 so by adding these we will get 5 over 12 hope you are clear with this example ok so far we discussed examples uh, that are given directly now I am just going to take a Venn diagram example please look at this Venn diagram let's use this Venn diagram to find the probability intersection probability First, you have to check whether the sum of all the values in the diagram is equal to 1 or not. So, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2. So, if you add all these, this will give you 1. So, it satisfies the important axiom of the probability. And this diagram represents the entire sample space of two events, A and B. Okay. So, first, let's find the probability of A. For finding the probability of A, add the probability that only A occurs to the probability that E and B in this circle. 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 is equal to 0 0.7. So this is probability of A. And if you are going to find the probability of B, it is nothing but similar to probability of A. All you have to do is find the numbers in the circle B and then just add them. 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 this will give you 0 0.5 and B A intersection B probability of A intersection B is nothing but the value in this overlapping region for Venn diagrams it is easy to identify so these two circles overlap in this region and the number written on the overlapping region is 0 0.3 am I right 
So whenever you get probability using a Venn diagram, it is often useful to use a Venn diagram to visualize the probabilities of multiple events. Uh, if you are going to add the number of events, you will just increase the number of circles. This is all about the intersection of events. In case if you get any query regarding this video, please let me know. See you in the